I'm about to beat. I'm being about putting it. Put. I'm gonna put the pal 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 in the thing. Let me sh let me show you an example of what I have accomplished with one of my clients. Listen, this guy changed my life. I started out as like a weak, scared, fragile, and now I now I'm going around the super confident. You know, I don't have any pimples. Not that that's really sort of the thing. But anyway, yeah, it's great. That's right. I'm gonna be a bleed, and I'm gonna tell you what happens with I. But dude, I get the fuck out of here. I'm a. How to go? Magistrate Clug came through. He pointed us right to Doctor Giblets. That's great. I kind of regret not voting for him. Now get out there and kill Giblets. Hello there, human fans.
Fuck yeah, sweezy time. How's it going? It's nice to kill something guilt free, you know? Oh, thank God. Thank God someone's here. I, I'm, I'm, I'm losing consciousness. Oh, oh. oh my God. What, what, what happened? A G3 base warped right through here. Right, 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 right where I was. And, uh, well, well it shot me uh, right in half. I got cut in half. A, G a G3 base? Oh, my God. It was probably Dr. Giblets. Oh, God. Oh, God, I'm fading fast. Please, please, please just stay with me while I die. I, I, I don't want to be alone. I don't want to be alone. Okay, hang in there. Hang in there. We'll, we'll stay with you as long as it takes. No, no. It, it's my time to go. Oh, thank you for for staying with me as I die. Oh. You had to do it. You, you had to put him out of his misery. It was like a really annoying horse with a broken leg. You, you know? It, it, do you understand? Is there an equivalent to broken leg? You, you following here? Okay, so is this Dr. Giblets' base? Where, where the hell is he? Oh, I'm sure we'll be able to find Dr. Giblets with just a little bit of detective work. Let's look around for clues. Jesus Christ! Okay, okay, fine. Oh, that's uh, a lot of dead bodies. What do you think happened in here? Whatever it was, it's not a good situation for everyone who died, but it's great. Looks like your typical work desk, nothing too crazy. Uh, uh, you know, best I can guess is someone interrupted Dr. Giblets while he was doing it. Someone was killing G3 mercs. You know what, that makes sense. Everyone hates the G3. I bet people try to kill them all the time. I mean, look at you, that's what you're doing. Hmm, a destroyed drone. Looks like it was deployed for combat. Nothing fishy there, that's what they're used for. That's what drones are for, they're for combat. That's not weird to see a destroyed drone. Okay, yeah, I think I'm getting a sense of what happened here. Someone beat us to the punch. They attacked Dr. Giblets and all his men. Oh, we need more information. Let me hack the door so we can go deeper and look for more clues. All right then, let's, let's keep moving. Power sliding! Howdy there, cowboys. Uh, oh shit, sorry, wrong bit, wrong bit. I mean, howdy there, detectives. Ooh, this looks like the lab where Dr. Giblets did his experiments. There's gotta be something helpful in here. Let's get to scanning. We got- What's he doing experiments on his own henchmen? Jesus Christ, that's fucked up, right? Yeah, that's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. I don't know why I asked. I knew it was fucked up. Dr. Giblets must have been losing his mind. Queer, look at all these drone heads. Dr. Giblets was an expert at creating cybernetic organisms. But we already knew that. You know, I don't think this is a very helpful clue. I do think it's neat, though. It's cool to look at fucked up drone heads. Thanks for showing me this. These must be old Hyperbong prototypes, way jankier than the ones they're selling at the High on Life store. Well, you know, we just pointed these out, now we can move on to the next thing. Alright, here's my new theory. Dr. Giblets was even more twisted than we could ever imagine. He was torturing his own henchmen. He wasn't right in the head. Although I guess that's what Douglas did too, so maybe that's normal for the G3. Maybe he was normal. No way to know unless we go deeper. I'm hacking the next door! I got no fucking idea what this room is, but I'm sure there's more clues in here, so go go find more clues, baby. Ooh, boy, did Dr. Giblets write this? He was really paranoid, huh? He really thought people were trying to kill him. And you know what? Uh, he, he was right, because that's exactly what we're here to do. So, okay, he was right. Not crazy. Normal guy. Are these second place trophies? They're trophies for, for what? Science? Just science in general? Do they really give out second place trophies for science? Jeez, it looks like Dr. Giblets was pissed he didn't get first place in, in science. Oh 
Oh shit, that's a G Gatlian. A regular old Gatlian doesn't look like it's in good health at all. Probably should just let it be, honestly. Aha, so that's our murder weapon. Dr. Giblets must have used that modified Gatlian to attack his men. It's pretty powerful, did a lot of did a lot of damage. It'd be great if we could somehow get that Gatlian for ourselves. You think that's gonna happen? Uh, who knows, let's find out. Okay, I think we finally cracked this case. Dr. Giblets really did go insane. He was paranoid that someone was after him, so he killed his own men. While you were wasting time doing detective work, I was busy scanning the area for Dr. Giblets and decrypting the password on his security systems. Now you can just follow the waypoint right to him. Wait, so we didn't have to find any of those clues? Yep, sorry. I just love detective mode so much, I didn't want you to stop using it. Now go kill Dr. Giblets. Oh, look at us go! Dr. Giblets. Uh, that was very anticlimactic, but I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not complaining. Jesus Christ, that was the easiest one yet. All right, let me at him. Dr. Giblets status report. No life sense detected. Entering full security lockdown. Uh -oh. Hello. If you're hearing this pre-recorded message, it means you've successfully managed to murder one of the greatest minds in all of super science. Congratulations, you killed me. But I knew this day would come and I was prepared for this moment. Now see if you can survive my retribution from beyond the grave. I should have fucking known it wouldn't have been so easy. Everyone called me crazy, but look at me now. I'm dead and you're trapped in here. Fall and pray to my glorious science you were ever so jealous of. That's right, Timothy. I know it was you. My own son killed me. For what? The inheritance? My dad? Or just a plain old space edifice complex? Uh, no matter. Just as you had no qualms about killing your own father, I shall gladly spill the blood of my firstborn. Farewell, Timothy Jimmons. message in the event that you're wearing a jetpack and you the during the fight. I don't really have anything to say about it. I just wanted to cover all my bases here. Good work using the jetpack. But it won't be enough! Dead. But soon you can tell me. In hell! Fucking 
kill every one of you little pieces of shit! Fuck yeah! Okay, I, th I think that's probably it. Alright, if you're still alive, you can't beat Krubus. Krubus was too weak. I would have killed him. No, no, you must be someone else. But who is it? Who killed me? Was it... You, Douglas? You never told me your last name! Oh, so it was Douglas! Let's go! Glove shots recharged! Douglas, you always were unpredictable. Your relentless party habits always landed you in hot water with Garmantuous. Perhaps you wish to strike back against our leader by killing his prize scientist! Me! That would certainly hurt his feelings. But it was a mistake to think you could just walk out of here alive! I, I got your scent, I'm tracking you down! Douglas, I remember that party where you got naked and experimented with one of the Super Brothers. It was really hot. I even took photographs. Perhaps that's why you killed me, to get back those photographs! Well, too bad. I only had to be to post them all over the internet the second my heart stopped beating.
is. Then I've made a great mistake. I was wrong. Only one person could have survived all of that. Myself. I killed myself. Finally. It makes sense, you know. I always hated myself. I knew I'd get the guts to do it one of these days. Good for me. Oh, that's dark. So, okay, I killed myself. Whoops. My apologies to whoever's hearing this. I hope you'll forgive me for making you go through all of that. You can leave now. Have a good day. Giblets out. R.I.P. Giblets. Wow, okay, good, 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 good work. I think we can get back out through the trap door now. You know what? Is he even alive? You know what? Let's take him back to Gene. Gene knows. He can fix, get him all fixed up. I just wanted to say, you know, today really meant a lot to me. And, um, uh, God, uh, this is so fucking hard. Um, your free trial of detective mode is up. So see you later. Bye. Oh, thank God. Okay, Bounty Hunter, you go through the menus. You find that detective mode. You shut it the fuck off. Never again. Okay, I'm serious. Delete it. J wow, look at that. You found Dr. Giblets all by yourself. See? It's not so easy figuring out where these bozos are. How'd it go? Come on over. Let's bow wow. Okay, uh, so we did find Dr. Giblets. Um, he is dead, but we also found another Gatlian. Oh, shit. That's great. I, 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 I don't know about that. I mean, he, he's, he's not really functional. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he's dead, but... Oh, God damn. Yeah, he's busted up real bad. What were they doing to him? Do you, do you think he's salvageable? Buddy, I'm not gonna promise you I can save him. That would be irresponsible of me. He would be careless to toy with your emotions like that. But yes, I can definitely fix him. Okay, th thanks, Gene. But you know, if, if he can't be saved, it, it wouldn't be, uh... What was that? Uh, nothing! I, 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 I was being shitty. You, you didn't hear me. You, I don't want you to hear me being shitty. Yeah, okay. Weird thing to say, but whatever. Sorry to change the subject, but, uh... Turn in your bounty real quick. I've got some good news and some bad news. Okay, come on over. Let me get- All right, what do you got for us, Gene? All right, which do you want first? The good news or the bad news? I, ta. Uh, Okay. You want me to talk about something else? Like what? Shoes? Why? I, I have important information to share with you. I'm not just shooting the shit here for fun. Are you just trying to be annoying or mean? Or is this some kind of weird power move to try and teach me my place or something? Making me wait to tell you my important shit? Good day. Look, I'm not playing along. Christ, kid. Good news or bad news? Make it quick. Dispatch 146. All right, here's the bad news. Lizzie's been gone for a while. It's probably nothing, and I'm obviously not actually worried or anything because I, I hate her. But, uh, you know, you, you might want to look into it since she's your sister and all. Maybe check with Tweeg. He works at that Space Applebee's uptown. All right, well, I lied, kid. I don't have any good news. I was hoping you'd just ask for the bad news, and then you'd be so upset you'd forget to ask about the good news. Uh, I was trying to pull a fast one on you, and I failed. So, uh, it was pretty embarrassing. Uh, so, uh, yeah, that's everything. I'll work on getting us some new bounty leads if you want to go look for Lizzie. And, uh, I'm gonna see if I can fix up that busted Gatlian you saved. Jesus, that is a lot to take in, Gene. Hey, uh, Bounty Hunter, you mind if we leave the other Gatlians here with Gene and maybe we can go poke around for Lizzie and use that time to have a little chat with each other? You know, just you and me, uh, our favorite people, our favorite, uh, you and I, our best pals. Oh, 
Oh, sure, we can use a little break. It's nice to stretch out a bit, you know? Take a little nappy poo. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Change the channel, Gene, to porn. Have a good time, you two. We'll hold down the four. All right, bounty hunter, let's head to Applebee's and we're, let's find your sister. All right, guns. No funny business while the bounty hunter's away. <laughs>